And, and what do you think of the person, personages who are going there? What do you think of Paul Ryan? Now, I, I, I may have said it on your, your new show, your new internet. Half Post Live, you know you are the most popular segment on Half Post You're Live. You're not taking TV from me. You know what? <laughs> you may control all of the internet. You may have your Pulitzer Prizes and your whatever your thing and you all the politicians in your pocket like so many nickels and dimes, but I still have TV. You owned it, and... Don't try to take TV from me. When you come on Half Post Live, you got 500,000 views. I mean, you're amazing. People love you. Don't we love him? You're welcome. Well, it's my show. I can't get applause here. No, but I said somewhere that, you know, uh, the pick of Ryan was like, in 08, if Obama had picked Dennis Kucinich. I mean, that's how far to the extreme he really is in the party. How can the Republicans get away with picking their Dennis Kucinich, but when, uh, when the, if the Democrats tried it, it would, all hell I would break loose? I don't actually think it's like Dennis Kucinich. I think it's more like picking George Clooney. <laughs> you know, he's like a bit of a heartthrob. He also looks good without a shirt. He, when he's next to Romney, Romney has a kind of twinkle in his eye. <laughs> But here's the problem. It's a little bit, you know how you fall in love with a woman because she's feisty and independent and has her own views. And what? Then, I'm saying, I'm speaking theoretically. And then you get married that's and immediately you want to turn her into a doormat. And that's what's happened to Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan has become a doormat. He basically, whatever they ask him, your Medicare plan, I'm on the Romney ticket. Um, Abortion. Oh, we don't want to split hairs between rape, among rape and rape, you know. But he also was the one who co-authored the bill about forcible rape, which is another name for legitimate rape. So, you know, he has all this past. He now has even disowned Ayn Rand. And he's become this little person who is following Romney around. Well, first of all... sad. Who... <laughs> Who told you that guys were looking for feisty chicks? 